Alright, so I've decided that I am going to do that second vlog, but this one will be laying down so it'll be slightly different than the last one. Woo! Different perspective. Oh, it's so weird. My nose looks so big right here, but then right here it's like kind of normal. So it's so weird the way lighting can manipulate and change visuals. It's amazing. It's one of the things I really like and admire about uh, photography is like when someone can be really good at uh, manipulating lighting and angle in such a way that just makes things more magical or more glamorous. I fucking love that. It's so much fun. Um, I would get into photography if I wasn't also doing most of that stuff through the modeling uh, aspect. But anyway, um, we're going to talk today about whether or not size matters. And um, I'm going to try to talk about it from the point of view of the average girl or, the, or a normal girl or whatever you would talk about um, or whatever you call it. And then I'll also talk about it from my perspective because um, I'm not quite sure which one is more prevalent. I'm, I'm assuming not mine because obviously I'm the minority on dick pics. Um, I'm the minority on a lot of things, which is, you know, um, becoming more and more apparent to me as I do more vlogs and get more uh, straw poll reactions and a bunch of other things. Um, but yeah, so uh, I think the average girl... Uh, doesn't really care about size as long as it's not ridiculously huge or ridiculously small uh, And I think on that end of the spectrum Ridiculously big would be better than ridiculously small simply because it's just kind of a bragging rights thing that does carry over to women uh, in some aspect like no one wants to have a one-inch penis and Even if they can't fit this 14-inch penis. It's still kind of cool that you have this like you know member that is the you know, sign of manhood and it's like extra big, right? But obviously, I would say that most women would like average to a little bit above or below average, depending on what women want in bed. Like, there are different reasons that women have sex. Um, and if it's like predominantly for emotional reasons, then they're not going to care about the penis size as much. Um, I, for me, it matters a lot. Um, but... I can be pleased by something that is at least, let's say, five and a half inches. Five to five and a half inches is my low end cutoff. Because um, for me, sex is more about the, the physical, the visual, and um, how manly my partner is. And how manly he is um, can also be added to his penis size, obviously. Like, if he has a huge penis, that's really cool to me um, because of the bragging right issue. And because it's going to feel more painful and I like pain. I'm a little bit of a sadist <laughs> um, and a masochist when it comes to that. So I do like pain, especially coming from the penis. And if the guy doesn't have a penis size that hurts me or that stretches me out a lot, then he has to make up for that in other ways by like choking or dominating uh, or having a good personality or something that works with me in bed because I have sex for more physical reasons than a lot of women do. So for me, I feel like I'm more on the minority side of this as well uh, when it comes to whether or not size matters. Um, but I definitely would surmise that women would not be okay with like a one to three inch penis. Um, and if you do have a one to three inch penis, you probably have to make up for it a lot uh, with either your looks, your personality, or how good you are at, uh, licking pussy. <laughs> so, um, uh, how do I describe this? Okay, when I'm having sex with a penis that is average or below average, it, um, it doesn't feel like there's really anything inside of me as much. Like, I feel it, but it doesn't, like, it doesn't feel like it fills me up and like, makes me be more in the moment. It's really hard for me to explain this. Um, I'm trying to explain it in a way that guys will understand because guys don't have vaginas or whatever. Um, but the the notion that women are uh, loose who like big penises or who have big penises a lot who, or who use big dildos, um, that's not true. Women who give birth can even get tighter than they were before. Um, the elasticity, el elasticity of the vagina is, like, incredible. And it goes back to how it originally was, how it naturally is, in like a half hour, like literally. And there aren't that many penises in the world. Most penises are not thick enough to stretch you out to a point where you're just like gaping. Uh, the anus can, however, uh, lose its elasticity because it's not meant to be stretched as much, especially for a long period of time. So sometimes you can become incontinent and uh, 
a bunch of terrible problems if you like stretch your anus out way too much uh too often but that's like not even that's like neither here nor there even like it's still like a long shot so um the vagina is meant to have things in it it's meant to stretch out it's meant to have children and still be usable uh it's not like that whole loose thing is not even viable at all anytime someone says that i just think of like someone trying to put women down um who like like all the slut sh shaming shit and then i also think about how much of a virgin they are because they don't know that you know it's like kind of like oh that looks bad for you and not for the girl that just makes you look bad that you're saying that oh it's kind of like a teardroppy you know like an anime teardrop is like oh face palm you know that that's how kind of how i feel when someone says oh you must be loose you take big black dicks or you must be loose you use big dildos blah, blah, blah. that's like actually stupid um so yeah, the idea that uh, a girl who likes big dicks um, cannot take smaller dicks later is actually not a thing. Uh, it's, it's amazing. Uh, what I like a lot about uh, big dicks is that every single day it feels like I'm a virgin. <laughs> it's like um, the first, the, the initial penetration is like, ah, and then it's like, oh. <laughs> and that's kind of how it is. Like every single day it's like that. Um, but recently when I was, uh, uh, it's not, it wasn't very recent, it was like six months ago or something, uh, I was having sex with a guy who has like an average penis and like, it's not nearly as erotic of a situation, not nearly as sexually pleasuring, obviously it's not hitting all of the spots that I wanted to hit as much, um, it's just not as good. I mean, you have to like start choking me or hitting me or something to you know, make me get off as well or, or like make me tighten my vagina so that it feels like the penis is, you know, I, it's just like a really hard to explain. It's really hard for me to explain emotions and I feel like sex has a lot of emotions involved with it. Um, and I just really like the feeling of being like stretched and being in pain. And it's not like a bad pain, it's not like a, someone just stabs me pain, it's like a pressure, it's like pressure. So hopefully that makes sense and hopefully um, I haven't been too convoluted about explaining that. Um, uh, another thing is that like some people ask like what about curvature, like, okay, so women either have a vagina shaped like this or like the opposite and it can tilt different directions. And finding that perfect penis that has the perfect slight curve in it for the uh, vaginal shape that you have is like, oh my god, so amazing. Um, thankfully, the penis I have sex with the most is absolutely perfect for me in that way. Um, and it's like huge, <laughs> so it's great. Everything is perfect. But um, I don't think women care about curvature at all unless it's like obviously cartoony, like I said. So I think uh, as a guy, I think you're pretty much fine with the majority of girls, no matter what your penis looks like, as long as it isn't a clown crazy freakish penis. Uh, for me, I don't really like penises that curve up as much as penises that are straight or ones that curve down uh, because of the shape of my vagina and because um, I have this thing, okay, so in porn there are occasionally guys that have uh, what I call an elf penis. And an elf penis is a really short penis um, often with a small, smaller head than the thickness of the shaft by a lot. And it like curves up and it's just a little curve. And it's like curving up a lot. And I'm like, oh my god, if this guy had any bigger of a dick, it would be going in his fucking belly button. I'm like, what is this shit? Like, every time he fucking gets a heart on, it like, goes into his belly button and like penetrates him. Um, and those really turn me off. But it's like a personal preference and I feel like those guys wouldn't have a problem with like 90% of girls. And obviously these guys are in porn and a lot of them aren't even in shape so they don't have any other redeeming qualities for porn. So people must not care about that very much. It's really um, hard for me to explain uh, this from the perspective of another woman because for me I pretty much just like what I like and it's a specific thing and um, I'm more picky than others and I think women are just like, I want a nice guy that will do things for me and will learn how to give head properly. And my honest opinion is that you can get pretty much any girl uh, to be happy in bed as long as you listen to her and you have an open line of conversation You'd be like baby is there anything else you want to do that we're not doing? Um, do you have any fantasies? Uh, am I am I doing good here? Should I go up? Should I go down? Should I go left? Should I do harder? Um, have you come yet baby? All of these things like it just being more Perceptive in sex is like the most important part for most girls because it shows that you give a shit about her It shows that you're not just trying to pl please yourself um Understanding that girls aren't often in the mood and you can put them in a, the mood by like 
having a lot of foreplay, etc. Like, all of these things are important, obviously, in sex. Um, but, yeah. Hopefully that sums things up. I feel like I've been less eccentric in this video because I've actually been trying to explain something that to me is kind of a mystery even. It's just like, I like what I like. Uh, and it's hard to explain why, and it's hard to explain the sensation of having sex as a woman to a bunch of men. <laughs> like, uh, you know how you just like touch your penis and it feels good and then you come? It's like totally different for women. Um, not as much for me as it is for other women because I can get off from just penetration alone, but a lot of women, I think like more than 60% of women can't without um, like clitoral stimulation or some kind of foreplay. You have to lubricate them. We're much more complex um, anatomically than men are, definitely. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys soon. Let me take a selfie. Bye, guys.